I don't like this place. Assworms, gonorrhea, Robert, specifically his meatballs. We all know how toxic that shit is. This is a game of pure hatred. Hello my dear beautiful bastards, have you ever had a chance to save a human life? Save a human being? <laughs> well, Project Remedium is a game that promises to you that you will save a human life by being in a human. It kind of reminds me of uh, Rick and Morty a little bit. The game is currently on Kickstarter, so uh, you know, you can go check it out if you want to. I am not gonna not gonna recommend anything, you can do whatever the hell you want, but we are gonna go play it. It uh, The controls seemed pretty nice, so uh, override current save. So basically, this little, little girl was skateboarding, she got very, very sick. She uh, ate seven bananas. Do you know what happens when you eat seven bananas? You uh, end up being in the hospital with the uh, doctors uh, surrounding you. This doctor lacks some hair, unfortunately, so they put her inside of a tube so they can harvest her hair and put that hair on the doctor's head. And then they also uh, found, found these nanobots somewhere and they placed the nanobots inside her body. And uh, we are that Emergency nanobot procedure. now. Yes, that's how it goes. Virus. Basically, this is the quest to save the girl and uh, transplant her hair on the doctor's head. Yes, we are within the body. Now, I am not certain where exactly are we within the body. Intestines? Emergency Probably. Procedure. Emergency detected. Next. Oh, oh, emergency detected, boys. Emergency. We must save the world. Save the girl so we can save the doctor's Device hair. Plugging in and log analysis. Oh, oh, we already lost a friend here. Unit designation DSS.S14. Unit status fatal stop. Task infection point liquidation. Task summary infection point located and identified as class C morbid growth. Log passing through tissue membrane. Approaching morbid growth. Failure. Multiple system crash. Energy leak. Commencing memory dump. Advised action. Locating oh. the infection point. Unfortunate. A growth destabilizing the cell processes located and pinpointed. Here it is. Advise action. Elimination of the growth with energy emitter. Uh oh. Got it. Oh, be careful. Be careful. Don't let don't let these weird balls of gonorrhea get you. Balls of gonorrhea. Be careful. Let's go, let's go. There you go, destroyed. We have destroyed gonorrhea. Have you ever had a chance to say that, my friend? The destructor of gonorrhea, and these are little aid, AIDS, uh, AIDS bugs. Yes, bugs that that spread AIDS through the anus. You gotta be very careful of those. If you have anus sex, these bugs are probably gonna get you. But luckily, I am here. My nanobot is here to save the day. Gathering samples. Gathering samples. I really like uh, how speedful it is because it reminds me of Doom quite a bit. I really like the the first person mechanics of Doom, and this uh, reminds me of that quite a bit. I do want double jump. Give me double jump. Emergency detected. Patient's health possibly compromised. Oh no! Alarm. Multiple infection induced organ failure imminent. Thorough examination required. Priority top. Organs in danger. Oh, that's bad. Action. If the organs Don't are in danger, how are we supposed to uh, transfer the hair from the girl to the doctor? That's not possible. It's not gonna work Stop. because her hair is gonna, it's it's gonna drop out, it drop off. She's gonna become bald like the doctor himself. Hey. Finally, you're alive again. You probably wondered what's happened. Here's the story. It's been a while since you were last active, and meanwhile, quite a lot of bad things happened. Not only the pathogens survived, but they managed to corrupt most of our former allies. A battle awaits the one who's going to fix this huge mess. And I'm a supervisor, not a fighter. But I found you. So you're a you're coward. Lifeless. You laid on a pile of wrecked nanobots. I fixed you and I upgraded you. We must reinforce what little healing power is there in the patient's organism to finally save her. It's the most important mission a duo of nanobots ever had. I am Super Vizette, 
Type 1 Supervisor Nanobot. Hailing from the generation of bots before you, I will guide you and help however I can. Thank you. And you shall be called Nano Plus. More than just a mere nanobot. Okay. Thank you. Nano Plus. That's our name. Nano Plus. On a mission. To save the hair. A bloodstream hunt. When traveling between the organs, you'll have a great opportunity to hunt some morbs. Shoot as many bacteria and viruses as you can with Remedium to receive a nice molecule bonus. Thank you. Oh. Not easy. Would be easier to stab a baby than do this. Careful, careful. Slowly. Careful. Oh, nice. Got him. Got him. Got him. No. Uh, 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 uh. Get the back. <laughs> I can't aim. Got him. Got him. Oh. It requires uh, immense focus, and I am not a man of focus. Alright? The liver. Ah, the, the liver. Boss came here to save it and help with nutrients harvesting, but they got stuck in a stupor and kind of forgot their purpose. Tasks? Rounding up the bots for gathering the nutrients and fixing issues with temperature and blood filtering. Bots must be convinced to clear the place and quarantine it. I mean, liver is ran by the foreman, the extant like you. His crew's help is needed to fix the organ. But now the bots are apathetic, so first thing to do is wake them up. Good old cognitive recalibration by head pounding should make the foreman see the things properly. That method worked on you anyway. While doing your thing, try not to deal too much collateral damage or the tissue will thicken and slow you down. Okay. I mean, Jesus, this girl isn't even a teenager and look at her liver. Once she becomes a teenager, Jesus, she's gonna probably die. Her parents must have been giving her a little bit too much vodka. No wonder she's in trouble. Man, this is a really strange design. Oh, we gotta go up here. You know, it has this futuristic vibe and I like it. I like futurism and futuristic stuff. Oh, checkpoint. The so-called checkpoints are an extant safeguard that interacts with any fully mechanical nanobot system to back up important data and reconstruct it if it receives critical damage. If it occurs to you, you'll be rebuilt at the last checkpoint. That is so convenient. Thank you. Let's see the design. Was, what was that? Please, be quiet. Please, stop exploding, Jesus Christ. Jaeger bombs? Jaeger bombs? Yes, yes. Uh-huh. Do you guys know what the Jaeger bombs are? They destroy your liver quite, quite violently. The textures and the design of this, quite acceptable actually. Yeah, pretty acceptable if you ask me. I like it. And let us go. Do what you must. Hit him. Hit him. What? Oh. <laughs> We've got morphs incoming. Hello. Maybe some action around him will sober him up. Kill the morphs and try to talk with Foreman. Die, die, you little AIDS bugs. Goodbye. Oh man, they actually look pretty cool. I mean, things in this game seem to be designed pretty, pretty nicely. Oh, oh my! Hello, Foreman. So Foreman, I am sleeping on duty, getting scared. All right, crew, continue the extraction. What crew? Which may be hard without half of you around, but that can be fixed. He knows what needs to be done, so listen to him. I need me a full crew of miners, and the third shift's gone. While I deal with the rest of them bots, you can bring those darn slackers to me, so I can reprimand them, okay? See the camp while you're on the way. It regularly gets... visitors. Okay, quest completed. Oh-ho! Leveling up, you unlocked more processing power and you can use it to supply additional software that allows you to use new skills or weapon modes. Press J to review your possibilities. The button in the middle allows you to switch between skills and weapons. Let's see. The UI design, very simplistic. Probably will be changed. Uh, feature points, battle ready, so what can I take? Duration of substances, battle ready. 
Barrel damage is reduced in combat, disengage time is lowered by 1. When Morb loses 70% of health, it becomes 50% slower and loses regeneration. Bosses become slowed by 20%. Let's do this. Look how destroyed the liver is! Oh my god, little girl, what have you been doing? For the love of Christ. <coughs> It's only gonna deteriorate the liver even further, and actually the organ state is going down as time goes on, so uh, I definitely need to be uh, faster. I need to be very, very quick, because the organ is gonna fail, and we cannot allow that. Quickly, quickly! What the hell is that? What the hell are you? Come at me, bro! Come at me, bro! Holy god, what the fuck is this? My god. These are... Balls! Jesus Christ, meatballs! Robbers, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Jesus! This is his... This is his work. I am confident that... He invaded into this little girl's liver. With his stupid Swedish meatballs. Take a bonus. Take a bonus. Stop hitting me, you dirty bastard. This is actually quite... Quite intense. Ow! Did someone hit me? I'm a little bit confused. There's a lot of things hitting me for the love of God. Look at the size of this. Look at the size of this guy. Look at the size of him. God almighty. Ow. Got him? Oh, the big fat bastard is dead. I like what the hell is hitting me? Something keeps hitting me, but I don't know what and I don't care because I like it. Oh, it's good. Whew. You might have noticed I lent you my grapnel. A little marvel for a traveler. You'll reach the toughest spots with it. Grapnel. Oh. Oh, that is lovely. So I can get up and jump. Holy shit! Oh, it's so cool, it's so... You know, I really like these games that are... Will you stop? Why are you sliding? Why are you... Is this sugar? Is this liver producing sugar? Or... What is going on here? Morb camps. The organ slowly gets damaged. There are a few ways to fix it. You can destroy the tanks of corrupted machines used by the fallen in their camps. You can also neutralize various growths scattered throughout the organs. The appalling shade of Morb Green is your best hint. Uh oh, Robus is back. Get him. Stupid meatballs. Ow. Ow. Got him. Got him. Oh, shit. Okay, oh, get some health. Oh, get off my ass, Robert. Come on, Jesus, man. I will need to discuss this with him. He has no right being here. Also, my health is... Uh, Dropping low. Very dangerously. Okay, it's time to go very, very quick. Very speedy full. Speedy full movement. You'll never get me. Little bastard. Ow. Can, can someone explain to me what exactly is hitting me? That keeps hitting me. Stupid toxic bastard. There you go. How do you feel about that? Slider, we know. Not lazy, but surrounded by morphs. You know what to do. Oh, ass worms. Ass worms. I don't like this place. Ass worms. Gonorrhea. Robert. Specifically, his meatballs. We all know how toxic that shit is. This is a game of pure hatred. Guys. Thank you. We thought we were done for. Let's go to the mining camp, boys. Go back to the foreman. Can I go back? I don't wanna go back. Luckily, this goes really, really quickly. I mean, look at this. I'm just jumping around like crazy all over the place. It's super cool. Super easy to do stuff. Well, 
I guess I was wrong about them. Now that you saved their nanobuds, they can work again. Wait, work? Eh. Most of the miners are working. If we want the nutrients being top quality and not contaminated with grumpiness, we need to fix the morale here. I'm already getting reports of lots of problems. Heist a spooky personnel difficulty. Tunnel A mining squad reported weird noises and other disturbances. And then they vanished. Check the thing, won't you? I can't afford to lose crew members. Okay, Mr. Foreman. But I am gonna pause it right here because uh, I've played enough for now. Can I like save the game or something? How does the checkpoint thing work? I don't know. But I can get another point into the things. Uh, critical damage. Uh, or should I uh, get something? Barrel damage. Let's get the battle ready. Why the hell not? Uh, over here, load save. I really don't know how this works, but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what do you think about the game. It has this very doomy feeling. Very, very doomy. But it's located inside the... Uh, of a human body and uh, it's kind of grim you know and there's a lot of shit on the interface you know there's a lot of stuff happening so perhaps that's not really the greatest of things in the world but uh, it's acceptable I think it's pretty cool so uh, I don't know if you can check it out yourself I don't know is the demo available for everyone or how does it work I didn't check but either way Hope you enjoyed, let me know what do you think once again, and I uh, will see you next time. I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petard the Eternally touch your body.